First prize, onions, Rosemith. So there you go. Hopefully you heard that. I've been having some microphone trouble. Uh, but anyway, um, a number of people have been asking to see my prize winning onions and I've certainly talked about them enough that I can understand uh, the anticipation. So uh, here they are, there are three of them and I've only got two hands so bear with me uh, but there's there's two it's always difficult to try and get things on camera all right there we go so there's two of them you can see that they're quite large in my hands but I have very tiny hands so uh, that's not very good scale here's the other one again difficult to get a sense of scale uh, but uh, so here's a here's a pot of salsa okay and this is my bigger onion and those are about those are about the same size. Salsa pot's a little bigger maybe, but um, it's quite big from an onion. You can probably find some larger ones down your local Morrisons or Sainsbury's, um, but these would be at the larger end, even in the supermarket. Um, so I'm quite chuffed with them. And there's not really a very great deal to say about them, but let's, well, let's see if I can get all three in front of the camera together. Ooh. Ooh. All right, so there we go. Those are my onions. Uh, now, I'm quite proud of them, but although I can, so I can position them in front of you so that they look quite nice. Uh, sorry, that way around, yep. But if I turn them the other way, <laughs> Uh, you can see they have all kinds of blemishes, um, especially this one that something is made a little hole into. So from this, I can conclude that at least in the case of onions, size really does matter because there were some much prettier onions at our local show. And someone had clearly spent a great deal of time selecting his prettiest onions or her prettiest onions and dressing them beautifully, presenting them on a little paper plate with some posh earth stuff to sit on. And I just showed up, I didn't even have a paper plate, I was the only person without a little paper plate and I felt terribly ashamed and I just bunged my, my three giant onions on the table and I won! So I guess they really only really cared about the size of the onions. Um, well, size and similarity, so they're, so they're meant to be sort of, of roughly similar size, shape, colouring. And they're okay, they're roughly the same. I mean, this, one's, this one's a much nicer colour than the other two, to be fair. You can't tell so much in this light, but it's a lovely brown colour, whereas these ones are a bit yellow. Um, but yeah, they're fairly similar. Um, so you're also supposed to dress them which is, I had no idea what it meant to be asked to dress an onion should there be sunglasses or something, I don't know. Um, but I asked the internet and the internet told me that all you need to do to dress an onion is to remove any skin that's been split, uh, so you take it back to the, the, the first whole skin and you cut off all the roots and I found some sites that were, were very exact about you know exactly how much root you should take off I'm not sure my local fair cares as much as some other people's but uh, I tried to get off as much as possible and then you you're meant to trim it as neatly as possible trim the leaves as neatly as possible and then wrap a bit of raffia around the top um, and people have done all kinds of different sort of pretty little things and I, I had really no idea how to dress anything so I just asked the internet and I'd found this guy's site I'll put a link to it um, this man grows terrifyingly giant onions 
and he gave some very clear instructions about how to dress an onion and I thought well he looks like a man that knows about his onions so I followed his advice and I achieved this wonderful little effect which look I mean you probably you can't see the ref here terribly well um, but there are no ends it's magic raffia it's just wrapped tightly around ah. anyway so this chap told me how to do that and I was able to do that with all three of my onions and you can see uh, I found raffia that the cheapest raffia I could find came in different colors so um, I made them all pretty um, and a combination of these factors made for prize winning was it winningness first prize I completely did not expect to win first prize for my first submission of onions uh, I thought I might win third prize I really thought that they would go oh you have no paper plate uh, the skins are all like uh, blotchy and this one's got a little hole in it but you did grow some massive onions well done for trying I thought that might get, get me third prize but it got me first prize instead so and and what makes me feel good about this is last year all these proper gardeners would come by my allotment and sneer over how tiny my onions were and oh gosh you're not going to be getting very much to eat out of those well yabu sucks to them massive onions champion onions i'm chuffed but that's really about all there is that you can say about onions even prize winning ones so i'm going to stop now